Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my March favorites and I am so stoked to do this because I have some interesting things to show you, some new things that I have discovered over the past month and I was like, I gotta film this because some of the stuff is just beyond awesome. So I'm tired, I just went to work, um, hence me looking like a ghost. But that's fine because I love you and you love me and that's okay. So let's get on with the video. I hope you guys enjoy. Gonna start off with skincare. I've been using aloe vera gel because I tried this MAC Mineralize Foundation and it drove my skin bananas. I'm pretty sure that was the product because I broke it all down and that was the one that left my skin crazy. So I started using this and this actually helps prevent and fight acne and also heal scars and burns. So I've been using this all over to help the acne. Uh, St. Ives Naturally Clear Apricot Scrub. So this is it. I went on Accutane and a lot of people ask me this all the time. You do get acne after Accutane. 90% of the time, just not a lot, but I feel like some products just break me out and there's nothing I can do about it. So this helped. Um, it's a little rough, so I don't use it every day. I use it like three times a week. This is my lifesaver. This is like pimple gone in a day. Um, Clean and Clear Advantage Acne Spot Treatment, and it says it's going to be gone in four hours, and it's not four hours, but I mean, here's how I see it. I go to bed, and then I put it on, obviously, and I try to, this is what I want to do on the weekends when I really, really heal my skin, is because I don't wear makeup on the weekends most days, but... That being said, I just put it on at night and then I try to get like 10 hours sleep. I wake up and all the pimples are gone and everything's flat and it just looks lovely. And then I put on my simple moisturizer and it just kind of makes everything hydrated again because that stuff dries your face out like a prune. A foundation I just reviewed like two videos back was the CoverGirl Outlast Foundation in... What are you? Ivory. I'm the lightest shade. Let's just laugh at that. My friend was like five, six shades in and then she looked at mine and she's like, hey, hey, hey. she's always made fun of me how pale I am. But it's really good. I like it because it says to a powder finish and I don't have to wear powder with it, which I've never experienced before. So that's beautiful. And the coverage is amazing. If you want to watch the review, it's on my channel. It was two videos ago and uh, apparently a lot of people like the videos. So that's great. Something that I've been discovering again, because I had it already, but I had the Rimmel Stay Matte, and I have two of them. I have backups, because it's the best powder. But I want to talk about something different. This is the MSFN by MAC in Light, the lightest one they have. What a shock. This is the Real Techniques Powder Brush, and it just gave a beautiful finish to the skin. Like, it made it look not as powdery as the Rimmel Stay Matte. I love the Rimmel Stay Matte. I'm not going to spend... $40 on a powder every single time, but I mean, when I want to look extra good, put on this stuff. For concealer, the one I've been using the most is the True Match uh, Blendable Crayon, and everyone's been raving about. I like it a lot. It's very hydrating and blendable, and I love that, and it's in Fair Delight. This is the Essence Breaking Dawn Highlighter in Bella's Secret. You can find this at some shoppers and some Ultas and wherever in the world they sell highlighters, or essence, I mean. I mean, that's the color. It's just a beautiful golden, yellowy undertone color. And oh, best. Uh, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Highlighter in Porcelain Pink. It's what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing it almost every day. Almost every day last month. True Match Blush by L'Oreal Baby Blossom. I think this is one of my favorites because I just can't stop using it. I'm gonna say this and I'm pretty sure it's the truth. I think I use this every single day but two days of last month. So Baby Blossom by L'Oreal Tree Match. Best, most blendable blush. Oh, yes. This is something I didn't mention, but this is an accent brush by e.l.f. It's the tiniest little brush. Oh, I have mascara around my wrist. What a shock. And when I have a pimple, you know that little fleshy bit when you pop a pimple, because who doesn't pop pimples sometimes? I take it, dip it in a powder in like my Studio Fix by MAC or like my Rimmel Stay Matte, whatever powder I want, and put it on the pimple and it covers up the fleshy bit. <laughs> or if you just have a pimple that won't cover, take some of that powder and just press it on it and voila, it's gone. I've been loving the color tattoos. I'm wearing one of them right now. It's the Ink Pink, which is just a beautiful pink color. This is by the Metal Line and this is a permanent line, apparently. So. Ink pink and then um, inked pink, inked ink pink. That's I was showing you. I put the lids on wrong. Sick. So this is barely branded. This is inked pink. I just sometimes switch up the lids by accident, but you know. This eyeshadow, holy, so amazing. Cause these last all day, but sometimes I just want to amp up the shimmer. So Essence three dimensional eyeshadow. It's kind of like the Mac ones that they are doing right now. That in extra dimension, in extra dimension. 
um, irresistible caramel and I have this on all the time in my videos and people are like what is your highlight and what is your crease and it's this so pretty so pretty and pigmented and long lasting and just a breath of fresh air let's be cheesy this is one of my go-to's this is the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette and everyone talks about this so I'm not gonna go into huge detail but I do have a review on my channel a few videos ago like three or four and this is just an everyday palette. I think I'm going to have to get the Naked 2 color in a pan form once I'm done with this one because it's like the best color ever. I have it in my crease right now and I love it. And then I have this Comfort Zone Wet n Wild palette. $3.97 at Superstore and they can get them. You can get it wherever you can get Wet n Wild. It's like Walmart and stuff like that. But um, yes please. This These colors are crazy. I remember doing a tutorial like, I don't know, um a year ago with this and I think I should do an updated one because I got some really good new looks with it. And by the way, I got all of the Real Technique brushes from their entire set except for a couple and I'm going to be getting those because these brushes are amazing. This is the base shadow brush and I use it to apply my Painterly Paint Pot by MAC which is just like an eyeshadow base. Any cream eyeshadow, anything, I just wanted to throw that in there and it's really good for just getting up in here. Also, if you're doing powders, they're synthetic, so you can use them with any of that. My favorite mascara has been the Essence I Heart Extreme. I'm onto the rocket again, but this was my favorite. I used it to death all the time. I wouldn't touch anything else, so Essence I Heart Extreme mascara is awesome. It gives you the best volume. I feel like awesome is the only word I ever say anymore. Um, the best volume, best length. It's just like you can have no lashes, and then it's like, oh! yeah let's skyrocket with these things um this I'm not wearing this today this is the Rimmel Scandal Eyes hold on before and after boom I'm awake um it's a cool pencil and it's just a nude pencil and as you can see I look alive again so that's great and it's waterproof so it lasts all day it's in the color nude if you were wondering get them at Walmart NYC liquid liner. This was an accident buying this color, but it's the pearlized black and I'm wearing it today. I really like it. I would rather have a matte black, but for now it works for me. It was $1.97. Lips were a good month for me, but not typical lip month for me because usually it's all MAC, but this month it's all other things because I got into a drugstore phase, I think. So Burt's Bees lip balm in the ultra conditioning clear shade. It's just simple and it preps your lips. It's like Matt's Prep and Prime Lip, but it's cheaper. Burt's Bees Lip Shimmer in Guava. I've talked about this a lot. It's just a shimmery color and hallelujah. It's amazing. It's so... Does this sound weird? Alien Galactic? It's like when you see Katy Perry, you think bright, sparkly, pink lips, and this kind of gets me there. This is what I'm wearing today. It's one of my favorite. A girl on Instagram talked about this. This is the Cream Soda NYX Round Lipstick. It's very orange, so I don't like to apply a huge amount, but it is a nice nude, and they don't last super long because they're very moisturizing, but they're very good pigmentation, and I have lots of these, and I love them. This is Cupcake Revlon Lip Butter, and it's just a bright Barbie-esque pink with a blue undertone, and it's beautiful and it's very moisturizing and I've been all about moisturizing my lips because holy let me tell you they crack like no other they are oh so if I don't have moisturized lips I'm just very upset so I have to be careful about that I've been loving this combination I wore it every day for two weeks which is not like me at all um L'Oreal Ferris Nude which is a beautiful nude color and I think the packaging is just not not the white part of it I don't like that but I like this I went through and peeled off a lot of these on my lipsticks, but I guess I forgot that one. So that's a nice color. And um, the Vinyl Max Lip Gloss uh, by Ramel in Goddess. So that's nice. I really like that combination. The go like the Goddess Lip Gloss, though, let me tell you, this is one of the best lip glosses I show you. I show you. Look at that. Ah. Let me unorange myself. There we go. See, the coloring of my videos is just sad. I need a new camera. Any recommendations? Because I just got paid. I really want a new camera. So, por favor, help me. That means please help me. Okay. Um, let's get on with it. This is, like, so raved about, and it just came to Walmart, and I go there, and I hide them because <laughs> I want to go buy more. So I literally hid some of these for me. 
and I will be picking them up tomorrow, but this is the Bonnie Bell Lip Lights. I probably shouldn't have said that. In Strawberry Parfait, and it's supposedly like NARS Turkish Delight. I don't really care if it's like NARS Turkish Delight. It just tastes so good, and don't deny it. You sometimes probably eat your lip gloss too. I don't like it, but I just taste it, and it's a pleasant taste. So, beautiful, and it lasts a decent amount of time, and it just looks good over so many pinks, so... That's good. This is what I have on my nails, and I Instagrammed a picture of this, and you guys were asking like nuts. My Instagram link's in the down bar, by the way. It's just Miss Herbie. So if you could follow me, that would be lovely. And I actually tweeted this too. I tweet and Instagram all the time. Please join me and follow me in the links below because we could be like Twitter buddies and Instagram buddies, and it would be fun, and we could like each other's pictures. And yeah. So this is Fergie's Wet n Wild Hollywood Walk of what is this? Hollywood Walk of Fame. So that's just the three or four stars. And then Butler Please by Essie, which is really, really good. The only thing about this lip gloss, I'm just going to tell you right now because I'm feeling it. It tingles a little bit and it's minty. And it makes you go... You know what I mean? And I did an OOTD on Instagram wearing this and everyone was asking. It's just this beautiful coral color. And it is a little kind of see-through cardigan. And this is by Siren. Favorites has just been this poncho that I got at the thrift shop. I love ponchos. They are the comfiest thing in the world. And I love this color. It's $2. Lacy dress by Walmart. And it is absolutely lovely. My madre bought it for me. And it's just really springy and fun. I actually wore these to Wintergrad. And I am obsessed with them. And these are just from Payless. And they're beautiful sparkly shoes. And they held up really nice. Speaking of which, I'm probably a little bit fuzzy, but... But these PJ pants, I got them at Forever 21. They are the best PJ pants in the world. This stuff is the best. It's like your urine brown. I don't know. I'm going to make it sound like urine. But this is so good. It hydrates your lips. Off the topic of hydrating your lips. But, you know, it's really good. This perfume, sorry I was just whipping my hair around, this perfume, Desio, holy get yourself this perfume please. It's like mm, spicy and sweet at the same time and it's just like heavens, heavenly angels. But I'm going to tell you, shoppers um, cleans out their perfume every so often. This was a sample that no one ever used, I've used it obviously, no one else used it. And I got it for $5.99 instead of like 80 bucks. So, holla! Alrighty then, so that's it for my video. And I'm all done, and it's time to edit and go to bed. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to comment down below if you liked it. Tell me your favorites, and also subscribe if you would like, because I love it when people subscribe to me, because that means you're just joining our family, and it's getting bigger, and it's awesome. And I love you! So, I will see you guys later. Bye!